good YouTube. It's day five and we're still alive in the upload a video every single day of the year challenge. Today's video, we're talking about my brand new banner that I just completed on Photoshop. I'm gonna give y'all a rundown, basically just a vibe video to see the background scene of how I put together this brand new banner for my YouTube, my Twitch, and my Twitter. Like the video, comment down below, and let me know what type of worker you are. Do you like to be in control of everything? or do you work best in team setting? Let me know down in the comment section for a chance to be shouted out in my very next video, just like my guy, Jawan P. What's good, Jawan? What'd he do? Told me what his favorite Keanu Reeves movie was. And subscribe if you're brand new. I'm making all kinds of videos this year. 365 videos. Subscribe just to see if I complete the challenge. Whether it's next gen console drop information or how to's, tips, tricks, guides, and tutorials, I got what you need. So make sure you hit that subscribe button with that post notification bell so you don't miss a thing. 30% off all merchandise. Link is down in the description. Go on in there and take advantage of that discount. The first ever Dubs with Subs Custom War Zone Lobby come through tomorrow night during the live stream for a chance to compete against the boy and his squad. Enough of that. Enjoy what goes on behind the scenes from your boy Dubs CP. So I like to use Photoshop and the Adobe Suite whenever I'm creating images or thumbnails, the banners, all that. I use Photoshop. I know a lot of people like to use other things, but this is what suits me. And in this session that I'm creating this banner, man, I love gradients. As you can see, I fade to black from a blue on a gradient scale. And then I'm hitting you with some stock images that I have in a graphics pack that blow up with the logo added in next just to have that effect of the blow up behind the logo. Once I have them both in there, then I reposition them and resize them just to look better on the eye. Position is everything. And I actually add in another logo just to resize and make it big for added effect and added impact. And once I finalize it, I'm going to move that. And then I just got some stock images of myself that I've etched out to where it's just me that I can add into anything that I want. And I actually have a video on that if you want to check that out. But yeah, once I get myself in there, it's time to start moving things around. As you see, I've got rid of the big logo and then I add in some text to, you know, let people know what the channel is about. And my catchphrase, I'm trying to blow up, definitely needed to be on the banner and so once i have that down i reposition it again the angles and the way in which everything is positioned is all about how it looks to the viewer so definitely wanted to center that up and then it was time for the sponsor shout out to e win racing chairs my very first sponsor 20 percent off using the code dubs by the way but before I even put that in, I went back to the larger impact logo and started to mess with it and took the color out by infusing it with the background just for that dramatization of the image. And once I finished that, I put back the text for the eWin promo code because that's something that i feel like when people come to the channel they should know listen this guy is sponsored by these people and if i use this code i can get 20 percent off i feel like that should be a staple of the channel and this 
uh, next thing was probably the hardest thing for me to do just because I couldn't get the pen tool to work the way I wanted it to. But y'all, those lines that you see in the background of the banner, that's pure randomization. I, as you see, I'm just creating lines and then put a filler to the line and then add some magic to it so that it just pops out, but not in a very verbose way. It is, you know what I'm saying, subtle yet noticeable. And that's where you see that at right there. It's a lot of effort and time that goes into Photoshop, y'all. But, you know, once you're complete, you always got to make sure that the finer points are taken care of. As you see me deleting these little lines, didn't want it to stick out. But yeah, y'all, this is just a little sneak peek of behind the scenes for my banner. I hope you enjoyed it. I will definitely have more of these coming. And that's today's video. Tomorrow we on to something brand new, but y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it was. It's your boy, Dubs CP, here to do one thing and one thing only, and that's... Blue Deuces.